What is up guys? So today I'm going to be showing you how to customize your Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 using One UI 6. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is customize the interior. So this is how it's going to look by default, which to be honest does actually look really good. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make it look more like how you want it um, and just kind of get away from this default thing. And I'm just going to be kind of showing you also um, where to find certain settings, like how to customize like the wallpaper and stuff. Um, so yeah, so actually, yeah. So the first thing I am going to show you is how to customize the wallpaper. Um, and I'll try to leave timestamps down like in the description so you guys can like skip through. Um, so what you're going to do is either like kind of pinch, kind of like what you do on the cover screen, or just press and hold on the um, on the wallpaper of the home screen. And then press this little icon that says wallpaper and style. So just press on that. And then you're going to be greeted by this um, little screen. And you can do color palette, but for now I'm just going to show you how to change wallpapers. Just tap on that. And you have these pre-installed ones, um, which you can pick any of these. You have the folding ones, and you have like just the solid ones, and you also have graphical, so there's different pre-done ones and colors, and in the colors you can like do, um, like once you go to apply it, tap on colors, you can do style, you can do a bunch of different ones, and you can also um, pick one of these pre-done colors or create your own color, like literally any color you want, so let's just, oh that's white, okay, let's just, little, um, I don't even know what color, like a super, like, kind of like a teal blue. Oh, it actually looks blue on camera. Um, but it's like a mint green, kind of. It's like actually my favorite color, just a little bit greener. Um, so I'm just going to put it as a picture. So I'm just going to go to downloaded. And then just select whatever photo you want and then hit done and then hit next. Um, so this is a wallpaper from a, an app called Wallpapers. Um, it is a application where you can download like 8K wallpapers um, they release a new pack every Saturday, or every, um, every Friday, uh, which is kind of weird because today is Sunday and it says one day left, so maybe they changed their schedule, but they release new wallpaper packs every week and you have a bunch to choose from and you can also download them in 8K, which is super cool. Um, so I, oh, it's gone. Okay. Um, so pictures, so we're just going to hit done and then next. So I'll leave a link down in the description to where you can find that application. And then to change the um, style of the homes or the clock, you can just tap on it. You can adjust it to whatever size you want. Um, you could do a number of different like styles. As you can see, you could just have no clock, just notifications. Um, oh, so I'm just going to have it on this one. And you can also choose like a different font, whichever one you want. Just have it at that one and then whenever you're done just hit done and then after that it will be applied to um, your home and lock screen so that is how you change the wallpapers and then also um, next thing I'm going to show you is how to add widgets so you're just going to do the same thing just kind of pinch with two fingers or press and hold the wallpaper and go to this little application or this little icon called widgets and just tap on that and here you'll see all the widgets for the different applications that you have um, so I'm going to add the, uh, weather widget, like the dynamic weather widget. So just press and hold it. And then you can adjust the size to however big or small you want it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the widgets that I want, to, um, and just skip it so you don't have to watch me add them. Okay, so these are the widgets that I am going to choose for my home screen. And I think I kind of like, or I think... I like the way, like, how it looks, like, up here with the four different, like, widgets. Um, I'm trying to fix the cord. Um, there we go. Sorry. Um, I do like the way it looks, like, with the four widgets at the top. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is add um, apps to your home screen. So I'm just going to remove these ones because I don't really want them here. So you're just going to tap on them and then hit remove at the top. Um, so you're just going to swipe up. Um, to your app drawer and then just pick whatever apps you want. So I'm going to pick wallpapers, um, WhatsApp, Samson Health, and then also YouTube, but YouTube's in a folder, so I'm going to have to grab that one separately. 
okay? And then also for down here, like on the dock, so no matter how, where you go, um, it'll always be right there. Um, I'm just going to add this, and then just rearrange that. So well, the phone's in the middle. Um, and I'll probably also add YouTube music. Right there. Okay, and also, if you want to add another home screen, you're just going to do the same thing, pinch with two fingers, or press and hold, and then, oops, and then just swipe over, and then add a page. So, you just add, you can add as many as you want, um, and then, uh, to add apps to this one, you're just going to obviously do the same thing, press and hold. So, I'm just going to add the apps, um, that I want, and then show you guys how it looks after. Okay, so now that I added all the wallpaper, or the, all the apps that I want, um, that's just how it looks. Just show you guys. Um, so the next thing I'm going to show you how to customize is themes. So this is how it's going to look by default here. When the volume buttons, that's how it's going to look. And then also in the messages, this is how it's going to look. So it's just going to be green and white. Um, so to change that, um, you're going to hit wallpaper and styles. Again, you're just going to pinch and zoom or press and hold. And then just go to wallpapers and styles where we found the wallpaper. And then hit color palette. And then here you're going to toggle it on. And these are just the ones that are suggested from the wallpaper that you have. Or you could also go... Actually, okay, so there's... So usually there's more than one thing. And there's also basic colors, so you just pick one solid color and it kind of changes it throughout the whole thing. Or you could pick two colors that you want. Um, so I'm going to apply this one. And then you're just going to hit apply. You can also apply it the palette to app icons too if you want, but I'm just going to leave that off. Um, so just hit apply and give it a few seconds. And now it is um, applied throughout your whole phone. Except for on the cover screen, unfortunately, it is still in the default. Still in the default mode, which is kind of sad, but um, hopefully with Winnie Y 6.1, it'll work. I haven't used Winnie Y 6.1 on a foldable phone yet, only on the S24 series, so I'm not sure what that's going to look like. Um, and then the next thing that I'm going to show you is how, or actually the um, another thing where it's changed is in messaging. <clears throat> As you can see, the... Messages have now changed to a different color. And so that's uh, what's going to be affected. And also just like throughout your whole uh, operating system, like the um, background of white apps is going to change just ever so slightly. Um, so the next thing that I'm going to show you is um, how to customize the cover screen or the flex window. Um, so what you're going to do, um, by default, you'll only have um, three little widgets if you swipe to the right. Um, and to fix that, you're going to just press and hold and then just scroll over until you hit, see this little plus icon and hit plus. And then you can control or control. You can add any of these widgets that you want. So for now, I'm going to add Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. I'm going to press and hold and then you can see that now it's loose. So I'm just going to drag it over here to the front. And also another way to do this is when you go to pinch with two fingers, so you can see all of them, and just pinch with two fingers. I just found this out. You press and hold, and it doesn't look doesn't look like it's going to do anything, but if you press and hold, it'll actually, you can move it like this way, which I didn't realize you could do that. Um, and then also, so that's how you customize that. You can add as many as, many as you want, and how you're going to customize the home screen for this flex window. I'm just going to press and hold. Or also, if you were on this one, you, if you press and hold to customize this, you're just going to swipe to the right or to the, I don't know, to the right, to the left, bring stuff from the left, and then um, you can customize it. Um, so to customize, you're just going to open your phone on the, um, on the wallpaper. And kind of similar to how you do the lock screen, you can pick whatever color you want and then hit battery, and then you can show the battery icon if you want. I'm going to hit back because it... Um, goes to this um, tab in settings called cover screen. So this is where you're going to see all your widgets. So you can turn on all of them if you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn on all of them. And then reorder if you want to. Hopefully they, um, 
this is optimized better, again, in One UI 6.1 or even One UI 7. Um, so I'm really excited to see what Samsung has for that. And then um, you have some other settings. So turn uh, turn on screen for notification, quick responses, um, cover screen timeout. I'm gonna, I always have it set to three seconds, but by default, it would be set to, ten, set to 10. Um, and then for wallpapers, if you have more than one, you can manage it. So you can just see a list of all your wallpapers here. Um, and then just to add a new one, you just hit add new. And you have a choice, like these are the, like kind of like similar to the colors um, that we had on the lock screen. You can, again, choose whatever color you want. You can make your own color, do whatever you want there. And you have, again, the simple, or it's called graphical, but it's called simple here. Um, and then you have, these ones are called graphical. Um, this one's like heart. I think you can, yeah, pick kind of like different characters. There's like an alligator. There's a sunflower or just a flower. Um, and then there's a basketball and then there's the heart. Um, so you can pick whatever character you want. And then this one's just kind of like a little animation. Um, so I'll apply that and then just show you um, later, like in a few seconds. And then this is also the one that we have on the watch. Um, so it's kind of cool to see that they're integrating that over, which is kind of cool. And then you have these ones. I do wish that we were um, able to like customize these buttons. Um, but so far, the only one you can customize is um, the camera button. So that's kind of sad. But you can also pick whatever photo. So I'll pick this one. It's the S23 Ultra. And you're just going to close your phone, and it will be applied on your lock screen. So we're just going to press and hold, and then this is what that one looked like. So it kind of like has this little animation when you turn it on and turn it off. Not as fluid as I would like it to be, but it's still great. It kind of hides that little like notch, almost of kind of a thing in the bottom. It makes it look actually kind of nice. Um, so that is how you customize the Galaxy Z Flip 5. Um, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please consider subscribing, and if you're watching the video to this point, it means a lot to me um, that people are watching my videos all the way through. Um, if you are interested in checking out any of my other videos on the Galaxy Z Flip 5, um, check out my channel, and I'll also leave some right here at the end of the video, um, which it, it is the end of the video. Um, so thank you again so much for watching this video, um, uh, and I will catch you in the next one. See you then.